Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 2.33 from Sadiku book. So the question is obtain V and I in the circuit of figure 2.97. But we have to be careful here because the value that given is in Siemens or in con conductance. So if we con need to convert this into resistance, we have to convert it. So I will have 1 over 1 Siemens that will be 1 ohm here. This will be 1 over 4 ohm. This will be 1 over 6 ohm. And this will be 1 over 3 ohm. And this will be 1 over 2 ohm. So we can use this value of the resistance. And maybe we start naming this node as node A. And this node here as node B. And this node here as our ground. So that our voltage here will be zero. So we can use KCL at not A and not B. So I want to use KCL at not A. And KCL said that the sum of the currents that goes in will equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. The only current that goes in is from here, this 9 ohm. So I will just put 9 there. And that will equal to this current here is going out and this current here I want it to go up. So I will have Va divided by 1 ohm. The value we need to see it the resistance. And then this one here I will have plus Va minus Vb divided by 1 over 4. Yeah, I think that we can... Uh, simplify this so we'll have 9 that will equal to Va and this one will be plus 4 Va minus 4 Vb or that will be 5 Va minus 4 Vb I think 4 Vb this should be 4 right yeah that should be 4 minus 5 Va 4 Vb that will equal to 9. I think this is the first equation. And now let's move on to another KCL, but this time at node B. So I want the current here and the current goes there. Okay, so what we need to do is just use KCL, but now at node B. KCL said that the sum of the currents that goes in will equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. The only current that goes in is from here, and so I'll have Va minus Vb divided by 1 over 4, and that will equal to this current here, that will be Vb divided by 1 over 2, and this current here, plus I need Vb divided by 1 over 6 plus 1 over 3. 1 over 6 plus 1 over 3 is 1 half. So maybe I just write it as 1 half. Okay. So let's calculate this. So I'll have 4VA minus 4VB. And this, this one will be 2VB. This one will be 2VB. So I will have 4VA is equal to 2 plus 2, 4. 4 plus 4, that will be 8VB. Dividing both sides by 4, so I'll have VA is equal to 2VB. Or VB will be 1 half VA. Okay, let's substitute this into this one. So I will have 5 Va minus 4 multiplied by 1 half of Va. Because Vb is 1 half of Va, that will equal to 9. So I have 5 Va minus 2 Va is equal to 9. So I have Va will equal to 9 divided by 3. So I have 3 volts. But here Va is equal as V, so I will have V is 3 
four. So we have three four from here. Okay, and now to calculate I. Okay, we can calculate I by substituting. So I is here. Yeah, VB is one half of V A. So we'll have VB is equal to one point five volt. So we can calculate I. I is equal to V A minus V B divided by one over four. So V A minus V B will be one point five. So I will have this one will be one point five divided by one of four. Therefore the I will be six ampere. And that is the answer. So the V is 3 volt and the I is 6 ampere. Hopefully I did not make any mistakes in my calculation and see you in the next video. Bye bye.